Hey everyone, Emily Lou here. Today I want to show you how to do a dragonfly, but we're going to do kind of like an abstract, beautiful coloured dragonfly. I love dragonflies. I keep seeing dragonflies everywhere, which is brilliant because I just love them. So we're going to need, what I'm going to use today actually is, I don't normally use them. They're quite cheap. They're watercolour paints. I never really use them, um, but I just thought, you know what? Most people have these at home. And if you don't, they're super cheap to buy. So I'm going to use watercolour paints and we want to have a piece of paper, pencil, landscape. It's going to be landscape this way up. So let's, let's begin. Right, we want to draw a line. Which is pretty easy, isn't it? <laughs> Just a line. I'm going to do it nice and thick so you can see. So I haven't gone right to the top. I've kind of left a gap and then gone down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two little bitty eyes and kind of like a mouth. So it's going to kind of go, oh, if you can't see it, zoom in maybe <laughs> or really look closely because it's, it's kind of this. This is what it is. So there's my line. It's one, two, three, and then like a little bit on there. That's all it is really. Then we want to do the body, so we're just going to touch the eye and go, Meow. sorry. Then it's like an, it's a bit of a, I guess it's like an abstracty, um, the way I'm drawing it's not quite realistic and I quite like that. So we're just going to go, kind of reminds me of a snowman. <laughs> You're basically going bobbly, bobbly, bobbly till it gets small, 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 small. You want it to sort of like start off quite big and then it goes small. And then I want to do the big wings. So one starts from there and goes up. Try and get it symmetrical. I mean, I say this now and I probably won't, but if I kind of like go across, I'll know that it kind of ends there. So I can go, ah, ah. Well, okay, it's okay. It's not 100% symmetrical like that one, but never mind. Then we want to go up here. Just join that up. That isn't symmetrical at all, is it? Well, I would say that one's not symmetrical. So what I'm going to do is make a chunky bit. And then that one, do a line there, let's do that. Because to be honest, even when something goes a little bit wrong, we can mend it, it's all okay. It's art, so we can just do what we like with it. Um, we're gonna do some arms. One, two, they're kind of legs to be fair. <laughs> There's like, there we are, like three there. What, I'm doing a little leg there. But we want to we want to decorate the wings. Now you can do anything. You can de literally decorate with anything. But I'm, I want to kind of keep it simple. I might just do kind of like knowing that they're the same on the both the side. Both the sides are going to be the same. Now when I say abstract, I mean it doesn't really look realistic. So you could literally do that type of shape, and that wouldn't really be a shape that's within the dragonfly in real life it might be but i'm not what i've seen so i'm i'm not i'm not mirroring the image i'm not copying that one to that one i'm just doing whatever i like <laughs> because i can and it's just nice isn't it to sort of just practice doing different things here i might sort of do i don't know why but i'm feeling in the mood to do a checkered thing which i wouldn't normally do but i quite like the idea of that actually there we are, quite like that. I just do. Right, so that's literally the dragonfly. If it's a cartoony one, you could do it so it's flying. You could do like this. I don't know if you want to do that. You could try it, but you could do... It kind of symbolises the movement. So you do that on that side and that on that side. So it'd be like it's going up and down their wings. They're fluttering, but... I don't think I'm going to do that. Now the body, 
you could just decorate it like that if you like something really simple as i say you could rub out well i didn't say it before but you could rub out that line and just do a different design and this the wings you don't have to do any of what i'm doing you could do any designs so i'm going to get my watercolor paint which i don't normally use but i'm going to give it a whirl and what with, the, with this you need to get it really wet before you can use it so i've got my brush so i've really got to mix it with the red because if you only mix it a tiny bit you won't get any red so i'm gonna like See you, see you at Christmas. <laughs> Takes a while. Right. <laughs> okay, I think we're okay. And what I mean by that is it's thick enough almost. It feels quite nice. I'm just gonna, instead of just doing one and then change color, I'm gonna do one, two, three. I mean, if I run out of color, I'll just dip it in the color again. I'm not doing the mirror image, so it's not the same each side. You could do yourself a colour scheme. So you could say to yourself, I want only red and blue. I might do red and green with this one. So I rinse out. I'll do exactly the same with the green. I'm getting the brush, I'm making it wet. Red and green are contrasting colours on the colour wheel. So that means they're opposite each other. So they look quite good together. And the other contrasting colours. Um, contrasting? Okay. Is um, yellow and purple and blue and orange. So I might try that. So this is my green. I mean, it's not too bad actually using watercolour paints. I didn't think it would come out very bright but it's quite good actually for what i want now the good thing about this pot is you can just change the colors so i've got three different greens in here so i'm just going to take a lighter green it takes a bit of time and i'm going to do light green You can do this with chalk, it doesn't have to be watercolour paints. That's a nice, so it's quite nice doing it with watercolour paint. Now I haven't got another red. Got like an, I think I've got a purpley red, let's use that. So I'm making it really wet. Uh, if I like that. It's quite, it's quite nice, isn't it? I don't really want them to touch, so what I might do is my last colour, which is the light green again, I reckon. Doesn't matter if it touches, does it? I think a yellow. Um, what shall I do there? What do you reckon? I kind of like the idea of a yellow. So I've got three different yellows in this pot, which is really quite nice. So I've got this like yellowy, orangey colour I'm going to use. And it goes on quite nicely, this paint, because it doesn't feel that messy, which is nice. Now, I'm going to get some blues. The whole top bit's going to be blue and purple, so I'm just going to get this really nice blue I've just seen. If you can see that. It's like a purpley blue. It's really nice. And I'm just going to colour in the shapes. I mean, it's good to do it neat. Because I just went over a bobbly line and mine got a little bit messy. You know what, if it ever gets messy, don't get upset. Because I sometimes, like in the past, I used to really get upset if it's smudged. Not smudged, but like, you know, went over a line or something. And I just thought, oh. But don't worry, because it actually looks quite nice. I actually found that sometimes when you make a mistake, it, it looks really good. Um, so don't be too disheartened. I'm going to take really dark blue now. I quite like that one actually. Reminds me of a bluey teal colour. I 
I think what's quite nice as well, oh, you might not want to do this right now, but you could outline it with black at the end, uh, with a black felt tip or something. Just be careful because it's watercolour paint, so it might ruin the felt tip. But um, before you paint, you could literally do it with black, uh, you could do it with black felt tip as well. I'm just going to do a different type of purple. This one looks wicked. It's actually purpley purple, this one, because the other ones are blues, aren't they? I mean, it looks like blue, doesn't it? But it is purple. It totally looks like blue. But I do like blue, so that's not a problem. Now, what's near to blue? I'd say green looks like blue, doesn't it? As in, it's quite near in colours. I don't know what colour this is. Sort of come. I'm sure someone's got the pot a bit dirty, and it's it, it's like a greeny blue, which looks nice. Let's try that. Oh no, it's exactly the same as the other one. Mm, what colour should we do? Do you know what? Let's do a pinky colour. Not sure if I like that one. Let's have a look. Okay, yeah, I think it looks okay. Right, we don't want to look okay, we want to look amazing, but we just have to sort of work on different colours, that's all. So I like yellow. When you put yellow in a picture, it makes it stand out. So definitely incorporate some yellow somewhere. I do like that purpley pink. So I might just do all of it purpley pink here. Now the body, I think I just like green at the moment. Yeah, I think make sure you rinse your water out when you draw when you're doing the colours because the body. I don't know. I don't think the colours are that great for what I've done. It's a bit of a squidgy kind of green, isn't it? Now there's a black in here. Or is it a brown? I can't tell now. Yeah, I think it's a black. So get your brush and then make, and then what you want to do is if you've got a small brush, you can draw over the fingers, um, the, the feet, legs. Legs. I mean, it depends how neat you are, but you could. But like you hold the brush up to the sky straight and you just use the tip and that's what you're aiming for. So you could outline, I'm going to give it a go. It looks more, um, just looks more neat when you outline things. But some people don't like outlining so do what's right for you because you don't want to be doing something you don't like but it's good to try if you don't want to outline because you're scared then definitely do it but if you don't want to outline because you don't like the look then don't do that because i can't like to do things if i'm a bit worried about doing it because i might make a mistake i generally just do it and then i think oh it's cool it looks great so then i surprise myself so next time i won't be as scared to do it Sometimes I find when I make a mistake, they're the ones that are the best artwork. Because I guess you'd call them happy mistakes, because happy accidents, I suppose. Because they turn out to look really good. Now I'm just going over some of the lines. Oh, my arm. Okay, so there's my dragonfly. Now what might be nice is you could, once it's dry, once it's dry people, you could do a really cool, because um, I love chalks obviously, we could do a nice colourful background, so you make sure it's dry and then you could just, what kind of colour should I have, I might have yellow, yellow basically makes everything look nice, <laughs> so if you want something to look bright, yellow is now your new friend. Ooh, we didn't outline these, by the way, in black, so you can outline those if you want. Now, I like the idea of a bit of green as well. I 
do this in paint, but I'm missing my chalks because I always use them, so I'm going to use chalk. The reason why you need to let it dry is obviously the paint will get to the chalk, otherwise. Smudge away. So I'm just blending the chalk into the paper and I'm not doing it to the edge because I don't want to, but you could if you prefer. I just think it looks nice when there's a spot of colour. Hmm, I like that. I'm not art. Right, so you could do any colour you like and I always love to sign my name. So it always looks quite nice if you do it in a dark colour. I mean, what you could do is if you think, ooh, it does, you know, it's covered everything. You could get a dark black chalk and just outline some of the bits that you can't quite see still because the paint didn't show up. Do you know what? I'm going to do that with the black now. I'll end up doing every every line now. I'm only going to do the outside. It's just it makes it stand out, the black. Oh no, I just smudged it. Black against colour, it looks awesome. I'm just going to get my one finger. Just to smooth the line. There we go. There is my dragonfly. So enjoy how enjoy the black. <laughs> I can't even speak. Enjoy doing your dragonfly. If you want to, I like the idea of. It's like it's moving. If you think that looks strange, because I've done it each side, you don't have to do it. But I quite like the look of it moving up and down. So yeah, enjoy drawing your dragonfly. Let me know how you get on, and I'll see you soon.